run through it quickly that uh, your concerns. Yes, it's lesson 13. It's yeah. paragraph 2. May I read it? Yes, please. False religion does not treat people as Jehovah does. The Bible says that false religion sins have massed together clear up to heaven. For centuries, religions have meddled in politics, supported wars, and caused or approved the death of countless numbers of people. Some religious leaders enjoy a lavish lifestyle and demand money from their followers to pay for it. These actions prove they do not even know God, yet alone have the right to represent him. The book seems to be saying, unless I've mistaken it, that a religion cannot have any involvement in politics or any involvement in warfare. I mean, have I got that right? Is that what the book is saying? Yes. I went on to JW.org and I've done quite a lot of searches there. One yeah. of them is to The Awake, um, 22nd of the 4th, which is April, 22nd of April, Awake, uh, 1993, page 6. And it calls religions that get involved in warfare, pawns of Satan, the devil. Um, yeah. It says, rather than encourage love for one's brother, the churches have supported and even promoted the killing of one's brother in war. Thus they have become pawns of Satan the devil, just as surely as were the religions of the ancient Egyptians, Assyrians, Babylonians and Romans. Is this saying that any religion that's involved in warfare is a pawn of Satan the devil? Well really what it is, is um, they're not worshippers of God, are they? Um, um, I mean we can go back to the basic um, Ten Commandments, uh, which is, you know, do not kill. Um, I mean God is a God of love. I thought it was. Uh, I thought it was murder. Right to take anybody's life. I thought it so, was. I thought it was don't murder because in in the next uh, few chapters in Exodus after Exodus twenty, there's um, um, uh, regulations on 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 how criminals in certain circumstances should be put to death, and of course Israel was sent out by God to 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 kill enemies in battles. Yeah. So really, that um, um, that's where we would come under righteous indignation because that's where Jehovah was dealing with those uh, wars. Um, uh, Israel was warned time and time again, um, and other opposition to uh, Jehovah's people back then. So Jehovah was in control of that, um, and whatever he's in control with, with is um, is well, he's perfect. So we know that um, that is um, controlling things in his, in his way, which we can't get away from. But going back to today's Christ, Christ, Christendom and false religion. What's um, Christendom? They deliberately, uh, right back to World War One and Two, even before then, the Crusades, they deliberately involved so, themselves in war. So, so, sorry, are you saying that religions that involve themselves in, say, the First World War or the Second World War are, are wrong there? I think your magazine, your Awake, said they're pawns of Satan the devil. Are you well, saying the thing that... Is, see, what we've got to remember is that Satan... Could, could you just get... Is, is, is Satan is the god of this system of things. Could you just get to the point, are you saying that a religion that's involved in warfare... Is a pawn of Satan the devil? Is is that what the book is saying? Well, I, I'm just trying to explain, and you've interrupted me while I'm trying to explain. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry, I, but I, I you, need to make, you, before, you need to make you need to make one I, point, or I'm not going to be able to follow you. Have you been a witness before? No, never. Have you been a Jehovah's Witness before? No, never. I used to be a oneness Pentecostal. Oh, I, I don't go to any any church now. You, you need to make one point. If you make multiple points, it is difficult to follow you. Um. I'm just trying to understand. So, are you saying that if a religion is involved in the First World War, that they can't represent Jehovah God? I mean, is that what the book is saying, or have I misunderstood it? So, could, so could you, what do you, you think, and just, um, what can I say, common sense, that um, you got one religion or priest with a, a Bible covered in khaki, as well as a uniform, his um, army uniform, uh, praying for the soldiers to murder and kill um, the opposite side. And then the opposite side then, they've got their priests. It's like uh, with Russia at the moment. You've got uh, Orthodox priests, um, you know, praying uh, that uh, that Russia will 
when you got uh, when uh, Hitler standing by the Pope and the Pope is blessing him. Hitler, him from, excuse me, Hitler, war. Hitler never stood beside the Pope, and the Pope never blessed Hitler, with Hitler standing beside the Pope. I think you've made that up. So have you seen the picture of that? Because that picture is not from just the Wake or the Watchtower. What Tower. picture? That's from an actual article. What picture? Sorry. You you said it's have picture, I looked at that? With, now you're interrupting me. The Pope. Anyway, I think to be honest with you, I think that you just I think you've just phoned to. to you you, you uh, I, I can't I can't I can't follow you, sir. Honestly, I really can't follow you. You said there is a picture of the Hitler standing next to the Pope. I'm not familiar with that picture. I don't think it exists. Could you tell me which Pope was that? Do you, do you know the name of the Pope when, when Hitler was in power? No, can I just say Well, that there, were, there me, were two. They were both called Pius. You're me off for me to have, yeah. to have all this information that I am going on hand at the moment. Well, you can always say I'll call you back and speak to me some other time. That's, that's fine. Um, um, I have no problem I really with that. Like to, I would really like to feel as if, are you trying to, what, why are you phoning, because usually my number is used for uh, just general inquiries rather than, um, you know, if you want a Bible study and we can go from there, that'd be great. Um, Aren't we having a Bible I, not, study? That, my number is, is not there to... To be, I, I'm not to be questioned. I don't know if you're. So, sorry, you 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 said you're not to be questioned. Yes. Where's that in the Bible? Not on the, not on the altar. But if, if you know, um, if you want a Bible study, then we can go through the Bible. Well, I don't uh, be questioned. How could we have a Bible study if you're not to be questioned? I, I, I'm going to leave you now because I can see that uh, things well, are not right with you. And I've had you before, things aren't so. right with me. What's not right with me? I'm I'm yeah, willing. Yeah, willing okay. to listen. Honestly, I'm willing to listen. I mean, you make all sorts of statements and you don't prove anything. You said yeah, there, the, there's the, a picture the, of Hitler the, standing the next is, to the Pope and the Pope blessing Hitler. What picture on earth are you talking about? I've never seen so, one. So, yeah. And you didn't even know the Pope I've was had, called I've Pius. Had people the same as you phoning me. Pardon? And then you've, you've had this, this interruptive, arrogant attitude. And I'm not, here to, I'm not here to actually... What what, what what sort of I, attitude? I, I, what sort of attitude should I be? Should I be a you've doormat? Interrupted me, I don't know how many times. Pardon? You've interrupted me. I don't know how many times. Well, I have said to you repeatedly. Could you just make one point and just prove that one Why point? Can't you be but calm? you make mo you make multiple points. Why can't you be calm? Well, okay, I'm trying to be Why calm. Why can't you talk calmly? Okay, I'm trying to be calm. No, why can't why why are you getting manga? I, I I just want to understand your book. Enjoy life forever. I'm not interested in anything else. Now, could you help me to understand your book, which I've been reading, Enjoy Life Forever? I think it's important. I've paid a lot of effort to go into it. I'm up to chapter 13, and I don't understand paragraph 2. And I'm asking for help, sir. So you can have help if you don't interrupt me. Right, I'm listening to you, sir. Right, let's go back to the war. Well, I don't want to interrupt you, so please, please go on, sir. So, uh, Satan is in control of the world of the system of things. Um, he's, we are lying in the power of him at the moment because of the way, right from the time of Adam and Eve, and um, causing Adam and Eve to do what he did. He is in control. He's taking control of the world. That's why he was able to tempt, try to tempt Jesus um, right from the beginning when he came out of the wilderness. Um, and ever since then, we know that the one that's controlled in this world is Satan. Now, anybody who's involved in, as we say, warfare, killing, murdering, whatever, bloodshed, um, is really an, uh, under the control of Satan. Because he's in control of the world. Well, you need to prove that's that. That's why the world is in such a mess as it is at the moment. Well, you need to prove that. It's no good saying that. I mean, many Muslims make statements, many Mormons make statements, Seventh-day Adventists make statements. Just making a statement doesn't mean that it's true, sir. You need to, pro you need to make one statement and then prove it. Give evidence to say, look, Robert, you need to listen to this because, because, because. And I think, oh, I didn't know that. I've learned something. But so just, just making a statement. Can I just finish? Just making a statement I don't think actually proves anything. OK, I've got a Bible. You want me to go to Revelation? Revelation 12. Yeah, okay, okay. I, 
and doing the same. The the same. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. So if you look at verse seven. And war broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels fought with the dragon, and the dragon and his angels fought. this event happen could you is there a date for this well we could we know there's a, there's a date because um the, around this time if you look at um around this time if you look at the prophecy of daniel it shows around 1914 when the world war one came this happened in 1914 yeah right um well that's so there's a calculation in the bible that you can actually look from daniel and also, um, also compared with Ezekiel, that will show you the times that will come to that come to that date of nineteen fourteen. Uh, and or right, so you link that to the First World War, which started in nineteen fourteen. Yes, yeah. So um, it's just not only a war in heaven, yeah. but then that um, right. that radiated on the earth, on the earth then, and ever since then, this the earth, this earth has gone. Uh, well, it's just deteriorated. If you look yeah. at the statistics, you'll you see it's, um, it's deteriorated, not just with war, uh, but as the signs of Jesus brought out with his disciples um, in Matthew, that um, even with the world conditions, the environment, um, uh, in Second Timothy, the, you know, lovers of money, pleasures. If you could just make yeah. one point, not multiple points, because I can follow one point, but it's difficult to follow multiple points. Can, can you see that from my point of view? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, on the website, jw.org, uh, I found a watchtower, November 2016, page 29, paragraph 9. Not everything the Bible students did during the period between 1914 and 1919 was in harmony with scriptural principles. Although they were sincere, the brothers did not always have proper view of sub subjection to the secular governments. Therefore, as a group, they were not always neutral with regard to the war effort. For example, when the President of the United States decreed that May the 30th, 1918, would be set aside as a day of prayer for peace, the watchtower urged Bible students to join in the observance. Some brothers purchased bonds to provide financial assistance to the oh, war yeah, effort. I see, I see, I see, yeah, I see where you're coming from. I've had this before. You, you, you're not interested in, in really what I'm to say. You were, you were, you're not interested in the kingdom to come. You're just here to waste my time. What, what is the um, kingdom? What is, I, well, I'm you're, gonna, you're I'm not addressing, you you're not addressing you're anything here, that I say. You're just here to, to, to argue when Stop. Uh, and we know do, do you know what so an I ad hominem is? Do you know what an ad hominem is? I bid, I bid you goodbye. An ad hominem is when you attack the person. You can't respond to what they say. So you just yeah, you just launch into you, attack upon like, the person. I don't think that's really fair on me. Yeah, well, whatever, I, whatever. But um, I'm going to leave you now because I, I can see where you've come from. Um, because where have I come from? You're, you're, you're giving me a pattern of other people. Um, trying to do this to me. Where I have I? Where? Where? You said I've come from. Is not, is not for, my number is not for, for people to come and attack me. Well, then why is it on the website? Why is it on the jw.org website? Oh dear. Well, it's a shame. I I was going to go on to um, the fact that Rutherford actually took part in the National Day of Prayer. Rutherford went into the podium. He was the leader at the time in 1918. And he prayed for victory for the American forces in the First World War on a podium with Catholic and Protestant priests. Rutherford prayed with them for victory in the First World War. So what this guy is saying is utter hypocrisy. 
Um, and as for the promotion of the war bonds, also known as Liberty Bonds, um, the Watchtower, it was known as Zion's Watchtower at the time, 15th of May 1918, page 6257, promoted the purchase of the Liberty Bond to Bible students. Now, at the start of our conversation, this man said, if you are in any way promoting warfare, then you're a pawn of Satan the devil and you can't represent Jehovah. But the Watchtower was supporting warfare in the First World War and also again in the Second World War and also again today through its, um, um, its shares. It gets share dividends from arms companies today. So, yes, individual Je Jehovah's Witnesses don't go out and fight in wars, but uh, the Jehovah's Witness religion has more hypocrisy than uh, almost any other Christian, uh, so-called Christian sect. Because uh, although they don't fight in warfare, the leaders of the Watchtower are quite happy to get share dividends from arms companies such as Northrop Grumman, Lockheed Martin, through the Henrietta Emerali Trust. They even get uh, shares in a company that produces soft pornography. So the bottom line is it's all about money. It's not about serving Jehovah at all. It's money. And I could have gone into a lot more detail about this. Difficult to get a word in edgeways with him because he kept making multiple points. He didn't prove anything. Anyway, that was, um, that was an interesting conversation.